Hey folks, Sean here. And in this episode, I want to talk to you more about problems worth solving from an example that I've experienced over the weekend. Now, I talk a lot about existing software products and the success that they've had. And whenever I find one that I feel like does a good job of demonstrating how you can use technology that essentially is ubiquitous, it's all over the place, and you can apply it in a very specific way to create a unique combination, I talk about it in story format on this show. And the reason why I do that is because I'm trying to give you plenty of examples and inspiration about how there are problems worth solving all around us that can be solved and enable a target market to make better progress than they can today with solving that problem in the form of a SaaS application or a software business that you can start. And the one I want to talk about today is something called Meal Train. It's mealtrain.com is where you can find their software. So long story short, a friend of mine has recently had a kid. And as part of that process, it's often customary because they're just scrambling when they're having a new baby and bringing it home. And there's so much to do. It, I have one myself and it is, uh, it's amazing how there's just a never ending amount of things to have to do. So the last thing you're usually figuring out is what you're going to feed everybody in the house, as weird as that sounds, especially the parents. Like you're so worried about taking care of the baby or any other kids that you have or whatever, that these other things just kind of fall by the wayside and you just eat whatever you can, so to speak. So a nice gesture and gift, especially from friends and family, that's pretty common is for them to figure out when they can either bring over or order you food for throughout the day or a nice dinner or whatever so that the family that has had the new baby doesn't need to necessarily figure those elements out so that's what meal train helps you with and the way that i found out about meal train was from my friend who's had the baby and said that as i reached out to them and said that i wanted to do this for them because i've done this for other people before they said that's amazing thank you so they were appreciative of that but they sent me the link. They said someone started one of these for us. And I was like, hmm, what's this? So I clicked on it, checked it out. And it's got essentially their family information, the friend information, and a calendar component that says who's signed up to provide which meals on which day. And it just enables you to essentially have almost like a reservation slash scheduling system where you can sign up for individual days to provide a meal for that family on that day. And you can sign up for whatever slots they've provided. And then you can see basically the full calendar in terms of like which meals are going to be provided by which friends or family or whomever is purchasing it and providing it for the family and on which day. Now, first thing that I want to say is that there's nothing remarkable that goes into the technology that this software product is providing. It's essentially like a calendar, if you will, which I know sounds super basic, but that's kind of my point is you don't really need to create super unique, especially every time software features and functionality it doesn't need to do something like remarkably innovative from a technical perspective. Most of where the success in the software world comes from is figuring out how to use the tools that are already available at our disposal to solve a unique problem that currently is not being solved. And oftentimes the more niche that you go, like in this case, purchasing meals for a family that is having a new baby is a perfect example. Now, as part of understanding what it is the software can do, I've already described to you some of the main features, but part of what I was trying to figure out in an area where I might like to see them improve clarifying some of this is I was trying to figure out, well, can they help me with buying the food too? Because that would be really cool. And they can at the moment, but what they do provide is your ability to sign up for a slot or you can contribute to a gift card. So they've got an option for that. In this case, we're gonna go ahead and actually order the meal and send it to them. But what I'm demonstrating here is perfect example of where they can go next. I was almost motivated to reach out to them and suggest that as a new feature set myself. Maybe that's because of the work that I do, maybe it's because I wish they had offered it. But regardless, you can see where the product goes from here, right? And this, I wanna reinforce as a principle of once you've got people using your software, then the folks that are going to come in through your support channel or otherwise are going to suggest where you take your product from here, right? But you didn't need to start that software with that functionality, which adds complexity. So you can start with something simpler 
see if people are using it, getting value out of it, and then you can build on it from there if you're able to achieve that feat. So if you want to learn more about this example, check them out at mealtrain.com, M-E-A-L-T-R-A-I-N.com.